Hello everybody, welcome to Hokey Pokey Artichokey. We're playing Don Don Rompa. Where we last left off, Makoto Nayegi saw his family uh, disappear, I guess. <coughs> and we're gonna continue where we left off. Alright, here we go. What happened to everyone? Uh, what happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside of me, like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fists against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now! I need to make sure everyone's safe! Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe? I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um. Pardon me. <clears throat> what well, what's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is, it like is that what Monokuma was talking about? What what's going on with them? I forgot his voice already. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a couple days. They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the, what the fuck? Th this can't be real. This has to be fake. Hey, hold on. Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't. I can't take this. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like I what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries on the brink of war. Both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> Th that sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid of someone might betray us. <clears throat> Don't put those awful thoughts in our heads! What exactly do they want to do with us? The, oh. us the, yeah. <clears throat> you can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... Uh... What? what? This is exactly what Marakuma or whoever behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should all start by just talking? Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Hmm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey Sayaka. Hmm. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What, what's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. <coughs> Sayaka! That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. Uh, I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um. I'm, I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go and do whatever you think you have to do? Oh, fuck. I'm having trouble reading. <clears throat> we don't have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I've made my own thing... Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. <clears throat> Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka! 
Peace off, losers. <laughs> I'm joking. Where could she have gone? I can't. She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. Maybe if I use my knowledge, I can knowledgeably knowledge the knowledge. Holy shit, that's a lot. Of Maybe if I hack the system. She ain't in there. Where what the hell can any, everyone have gone? Uh, I guess I'll just check places. Rattle, rattle. Door won't budge. It must be locked. I don't know what that door is. She's in one of the classrooms, isn't she? <coughs> if she's not in this classroom, I'll oh. First try? God damn. <coughs> I found her in one of the corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in her chair, hands on her knees, staring v absently at the floor. Apologies, I'm back. She looked like she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that could that you could call an emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. S Sayaka, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out. Let me out of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashes around, thrashed around, I grabbed her by her shoulders. I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think about what happened to my family. But now more than ever, I have to stay we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, <coughs> people out there would be in uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned in my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. We might even, co even come before that. Help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if, it if help never comes? If that happens, <clears throat> then I'll get out you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. <clears throat> when I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening <clears throat> to me? Good question. To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Poor Sayaka. 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 However you fucking said it. I'm bad at names. Shut up. <laughs> Finally, she raised her face from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I... Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Uh, absolutely. Makoto. Makoto. You're the only one I can trust. So please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Oh, my heart. Huh? Uh, of course, I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. <clears throat> Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Cause I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. <clears throat> it felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey. <clears throat> it's standing up! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up! <laughs> What's standing up? Do you even have to ask? Your flagpole. 
can't stand. Oh, sorry. I thought he was gonna keep talking. Get the hell out of here! No, no, I don't want to join in. Damn it! If you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. Ah, uh, it's about to come out. Oh, it's gonna come out. My pristine, pure, white stuffing. <laughs> my honest, innocent stuffing is about to go out of the anywhere. I balled up my fish, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I never put so much energy in a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Ah, are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated the school regulations. Boy, are you slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time that it took you to finish your swing! Your speed, agility, and order, passion, bonus, sense of despair, and antagonization is all lacking! Dang, this dude didn't even take a breath. <clears throat> what the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. <clears throat> uh, um. Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Bing, bong, bang. Bing, bong, bang. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we had just created. Sayaka and I headed back to the dorms. <coughs> back to the dorms. I was almost on note. <coughs> you should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Bing, bong, bing. Bing. Okay. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video I needed some rest of my own. Excuse me. <coughs> Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the what what the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do all the others feel the same way? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. <clears throat> Ding dong. I they already made sound, but huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost ten o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come there's someone here? <clears throat> All right. Well, let's see. <clears throat> sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? <coughs> Sayaka! What? <coughs> Sorry about that. Sayaka, what are you doing here so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. I is everything okay? It was so strange. I'm sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Question mark? Apostrophe? No, okay. Just a little. I think that's her talking, but it says my name. Just a little. Uh, I'll try to do both the voices. Hey man, that's creepy. Uh, just a little while ago, I was lying down in my room, and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But then they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared. I couldn't move. So, so what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by. Then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Lakota. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room. But who would do something like that? I it's not like I'm suspicious of everyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. 
What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You, you don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime, but that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, uh, th then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? <laughs> what? All it said in the school regulations that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But, but, two people sharing one room is... You know... Ah! Oh jeez, I'm sorry! I didn't even think about it like that. Or that. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um... No, I know. Me either. It's just... It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Oh. <laughs> um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? It, if it will help put your mind at ease, then it is totally fine with me. <clears throat> but, I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? Doesn't that, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then. Ding dong ding. Bong. Hey, <coughs> night time. I'm just gonna do this. Night time. I've been coughing a lot. That's why I've been pausing a lot. <coughs> oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys, too. Okay. <clears throat> she read my mind again. Ah, <clears throat> uh, that's right. We will have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm like... psychic. Huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made it sway to her face. Thank goodness. It looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we'd better trade t keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys, and when I looked back up at her again, there was another worried expression there. Uh, um. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it, no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door. Not for anyone, not even me. Even if I'm sure it's you, I will absolutely won't op open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? By the w oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that, and the door should open. No problem. Okay, but the showers don't work at nighttime, anyways, right? <coughs> oh, that's right. I totally forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka! Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said earlier, said before. Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it, it really was a joke, honestly. I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Say Sayaka gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to... My room. <clears throat> I looked his room as soon as I got out into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good. There's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. I'll just go to bed. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out myself. Oh, I got my mono coin! Oh, boy! The room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka was sewing it as a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. Kinda weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's <clears throat> there wasn't any doubt about it. That was a DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never got a chance to find out what it was in her video. 
But then it's probably best if I wait until he brings it up again. Pocket it. <coughs> if I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little rect reluctant to go in. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. So I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, uh, but a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. <clears throat> Maybe it will bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little better than before. I fell asleep. Sorry, I had the cough. I'm glad having hot keys on my computer so I can pause and unpause the video. Imagine you're on a big. Oh god, that was weird. Imagine you're on a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're all sort of like that. We set sail and left Earth behind. Hear that, Noah? It's your boat. You better go get it. <laughs> <clears throat> Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. <laughs> I don't know why I left like that. You don't have to worry about the... <clears throat> Pardon me. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to worry about the stress of studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, even with our divine world of freedom, men has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. I don't know why he changed his voice, but I mean, I did say he's crazy and he does have multiple different voices. I wasn't lying. If you're really dead set on returning to Earth, that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth Please do your best to follow the road. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, I just felt like doing weird voices for him for a second. <coughs> Give my voice a break from one voice. Give my voice a break from a voice. That's voiceception. Welcome, it's morning time, morning time, Good morning time. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet. I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remember I was in Sayanaka's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I'd better get going. We're gonna, we're gonna take a break here. This is the cliffhanger. Oh, maybe not really, but... I mean, all we did was change rooms. This, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, we'll continue where we left off. In the next video. So I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.